head shootout, a $120 purpose-built drag battery, or a $28 off-the-shelf hard case light bulb. This is GK with RC Street Wars and GK Systems Engineering, and we're about to find out because we're going to put these on the dyno, see which one comes out on top. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Before we get into the video, I want to take a few minutes and just go through some things that I think are going to be very useful. See, I normally record my intro, go through the test, and then the summary, just like that, so I can put it all together in the end. I've already gone through the test, and uh, I felt like I needed to inject a little bit here into the beginning. If there's one video you guys out there watch all the way through to the end, make it this one, because there's going to be some information at the end I really believe you guys are going to find very useful. And I want to kind of explain how we got to this test today. See, when I tested the EC version of this one, I tested it up against the Z's battery, which was a very popular video. But a lot of people told me, well, that's completely unfair. Of course, the SMC is going to beat it. I really thought it was a fair test, but yeah, maybe this was the favorite. So instead of making it the favorite this time, we thought maybe we'll make it the underdog and put it up against uh, some stiff competition. I was actually looking to make a video for what is the best battery that will go in a slash or a drag slash or something that uses this kind of stick pack battery. And my plan was to take this HP and put it up against one of the more premium Z's batteries. Now, if you remember, we just did the standard blue Z's, but there is a premium series and a premium pro. I thought, you know what? Let me put these up against each other in a separate video. Let's give this SMC some tough competition and see how it works out. But like I said, I really believe that you need to watch this through the end because there's information that's coming up at the final summary. I know you guys are going to find um, useful. So let's get into the testing and then stick around for the summary. And like always, thank you guys for being out there. Like and subscribe. It helps me out. Let's get into the tests. All right, so here we go, internal resistance time, and uh, you can see the SMC is starting out very respectable at a 1.61, 1.68. Let's uh, refresh that, 1.61, 1.71, 1.63, 1.72. I feel really confident, hey, it's about a, you know close to a 1.7 average. I think really good, if you remember the EC uh, was around a two, a little bit over two. So this one's definitely a better pack than the EC. Let's see how it does compare it to the ION. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, let's plug the ION in. And let's get the... And, oh, I was not expecting that. You guys see that? 2.98, 2.98. It's a refresh. Then really change 2.94, 2.88. Uh, this is almost a three. Oh, wow. I, I don't know about that, but uh, that's what it is. Anyway, let's get him charged up and put it on the dyno and let's see if this budget SMC pack um, can put up. All right, everyone, we decided to recheck the internal resistance on the ion battery after charging. I was really concerned with what I felt was kind of high for that battery. And you can see here after charging, it's at 8.40 on the meter and we're at 2.42 and 2.36 on the resistance. So it did come down some as it should because we put some energy into it and we heated it. But um, let's see how it performs on the dyno. All right, so here we go with the Accelerate Ion 6250C. Let's see how it does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 49.95 miles per hour. 10.086 inch pounds, 1.47 horsepower, 2002 watts, 317 amps, and uh, our lowest voltage was a 5.757, average 6.14. Wow, this is 
probably the slowest I've ever seen it get the peak amps at a 1.391 seconds. 1.391 seconds, 317 amps, 2.885 volts per cell, half a second into the run, 307 amps, 3.204 volts per cell. One second into the run, 288 amps, 3.118 volts per cell. Two seconds into the run, 255 amps, and 2.980 volts per cell. And three seconds into the run, 200 amps, and 3.074 volts per cell. So you can see that um, amps are dropping quite a bit. The voltages are starting to kind of pick up. But um, 1.47 horsepower, um, nowhere near what I thought it was going to be. Let's move on to the SMC, see how it does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the SMC 5200 HP. This is 150C, so this is the one model up from the EC that we tested against the Zs. Let's see how it does against the Accelerate Ion. All right, and the numbers are you are guys, you guys are not going to believe this 63.39 miles per hour, 11.04 inch pounds, 1.90 horsepower, 2,200. 79 watts and 363 amps okay our lowest voltage was a 6.038 average was a 6.587 okay a little bit slow maybe slower than i definitely would like it to be at 781 to peak amps but it is 363 amps then it's holding 353 amps, 3.210 volts per cell. One second into run, 335 amps. Look at how strong that is. 3.124 volts per cell. 213 amps, two seconds into the run, 3.323 volts per cell. 172 amps, 3.360 volts per cell. But wow, I'm going to tell you, look at just how impressive this, this is a very inexpensive battery, 10 gauge wire. It doesn't weigh anything. It is so light and it just beat this thing. Oh my God. I need to look at these numbers and go over it and uh, let's do a summary. Wow, what do you all out there think about that test? That did not go the way I thought it was going to go. All right, when I started this, I was really looking for, it's going to be the best battery. What can I recommend for something like a drag slash or a slash or any car that just takes, you know, a stick pack, right? And it got me down this rabbit hole because I was going to test the Z's, but then I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I already did the Z's. So I'm like, let me get an overdog. And I had people coming to me with this ion. I'm like, hey, is this good for a drag slash? And before I even tested it, I was like, you know, I, I think it would be, right? It fits. It's, it looks, it's got all the great specs. And I said, hey, you know what? Let me test it and go from there. Now, before anyone gets crazy on me, I'm going to tell you, I didn't just test one. I tested three of them and I put up the best of the three. I'm gonna go through it right now, okay? So we saw that, let's um, remind ourselves, the uh, SMC HP, this one here, okay? Did 1.9 horsepower, 11.04 inch pounds of torque, 2279, so 2279 watts, and 363 amps. Now I'm gonna load the best of the ion. It's three different batteries, okay? So the best of the ion was a 1.47 horsepower, okay? 2,002 
watts 317 amps now here is the other one so i have labeled a and b and then that was c all right this one was a 1.30 horsepower right you guys can watch the graph 1.30 horsepower 10 inch pounds 2009 watts so pretty similar to the other battery and 308 amps now this is the other one all right 1.22 horsepower ten, also 10 inch pounds of torque so they're all holding about 10 inch, but this one was at 1885 watts 296 amps so out of the three different batteries you know i just chose to compare the best one the, the one that was 1.49 but they all most of the characteristics were pretty similar. They were right around 2,000 watts and 300 amps. And they all were in the high 40-something mile an hour. So I feel pretty... And they all were around 3 milliohms at room temperature. Remember, everyone, when we test the batteries, we take them out of the package. They sit for 24 hours at room temperature, all right? The connector is already on at that point. We test the batteries at room temperature... They go right to the charger and then from the charger straight to the dyno. There is no doubt that the charger beeps. They go straight to the dyno. Now, even in this case, I just I just needed to see was it the resistance going to come down. We checked the resistance um, on the ion and yeah, and it did come down and like it should have come down. But I just I don't know, especially when you know you got this HP. And I want to remind everyone, this is the EC. This is the battery I was talking about earlier that we were comparing to. This is the one that I did against the original Z's test. And this thing did really good. I mean, this was an $18 battery and it was 1.45 horsepower. So here's my best, here's my best ion at 1.47. All right, I'm going to load the EC. All right, and it's a 1.4. Four or five horsepower with also 1850 watts, 280. So a little bit low on the amps, a little bit low on the watts, but not that far off on the horsepower. All right. So, I mean, this one, the EC, this is as inexpensive as it gets. I compare this against the Z's. It's an $18 battery. This is a $28 battery. Now, SMC is a reputable company. They tell me this is 150C, this is um, 100C, and I really believe that, you know, their rating system is this one is more powerful than this one, and it is. And I just, I went through three of these. I went through three of these because I just didn't, I just couldn't believe it. And they're, they're $119 at A-Main. I got three of them. I, I, I really wanted to be able to say, I did everything I can because I just, I can't tell you how blown away I am. But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, maybe it makes sense because these guys are not a battery company. They, 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 I don't, they're just putting their sticker on a battery that someone from China probably called them up and said, hey, I got a battery. I mean, they're not a battery company. All right. Yeah, they're into RC drag racing and things like that. And I was expecting more, but I mean... You know, these guys are a battery. There's people out there that make batteries, all right? I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I, I can't I, I can't in any good conscience tell anyone. You should, I, even at half the price, I don't think this battery is worth it. I'm really sorry. I know they're just putting their, their name on, on a battery, but they're not a battery company. I, I, I don't know. Okay, um, I just, I bought three of them. I, I, it, I, I feel violated at this point, okay? It's just, wow. Anyway, um, please, everyone, tell me what you guys think out there. Uh, what are your thoughts? But I'm just going to, I mean, there's no doubt SMC is the winner on this one. But, you know, what a great battery company. I mean, they've won so many of our tests. I, I just feel amazing about the product every time I buy it, every time I test it. So um, let me hear from everyone out there. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? Let's keep the comments going. And I thank everyone for making this channel amazing. You guys are amazing. That's why I do it. And um, I hope you found this video useful. 
And uh, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, everyone, remember, uh, let's go fast, everyone. Gotcha.